Hello and welcome to the tutorial on how to add forestry to Technic. So, in this tutorial, we'll be going through how to add forestry to Technic, how to fix your world. So, if you already had a rendered world, you don't, and well, you want to find the ores and stuff that you get in Technic, well, we're gonna fix that. And then we're gonna look at how to add the NEI plugin. So that you can see the different machines recipes in not enough items. Okay, so first thing that you want to do is open up Forestry Client A1486. This is for the current version of Technic Pack, which is 7.2, I believe. So let's do that real quick. I'm using 7zip because I think that's the most convenient um, jar opener thingy. So the next thing you want to do is locate to your Technic SSP folder. So what you want to do is type percent app data percent into the search folder into the search thingy and click the roaming file stuff. Badoobadoob. So next thing you want to do is go into Technic Launcher, then click the Technic SSP, then go into um and see let's then you want to go into the mods folder. And here, you want to add uh, this file. So, you actually don't have to open that, I guess. All you have to do is drag and drop this forestry client A, blah, 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 into the mods folder. So, right here. Now, I've already done that. So, easy piece. And let's see if we can find it here. Control F to search forestry. It should be here. Oh, forest. There you go. There's the forestry, forestry client A1 blah blah blah. So, next thing you want to do is basically launch Technic. What this is going to do is basically um, add a couple of files into your Technic SSP thing. So, let's do that real quick. Right, let's log in and let's just do this. Now first time you do this you might get some arrows but just press continue I promise you nothing is gonna happen. So once that's done just close that down because right now I think the files have already been added. So let's wait for this to load and then close it down directly. So come on go on sorry that's that means um, <laughs> it does not respond in Swedish. I'm sorry. Ooh, crap. So, there you go. Now, what should have happened in your Technic SSP folder is that you should have gotten this forestry folder into in your config folder. So, let's go in there and add a couple of, well, fix a couple of things. So, the first thing that you want to do is go into base. Now, what you want to do here is fixed so that you don't get two spawns of copper because forestry adds well another source of copper so you're gonna see this set to false to force forestry to skip generating own copper or blocks in the world now already I already set this to false so this is when what you want to do it's gonna say true here but you want to remove that and type false done deal next thing you want to do is do the same but with tin so let's do this real quick here false there you go now that's gonna say true from the beginning as well so there you go um, let's save that by con by pressing control s there you go or you could go up here into archive and save perfect next thing that you wanna do is go into backpack now what you can do here is add so that marble and I forget the name I think it's base salt or something like that um, so that those two items will go into the backpacks that Forestry adds. So, as you can see here, I've added two IDs, block IDs, to the to the to the config file. So it says here, add blocks and items for the builder's backpack here in the format of ID, meta, separate blocks, um, and items using this thing. So. You just want to basically type this. Now, remember, all of this is going to stand in the description as well as the download links for, um, or the forum post probably for the mods that I'm going to be adding. 
So just add this um, to the builder's backpack and this to the digger's backpack. That's really easy. You just want to copy the things that stand in the description and post those there. Perfect. Then click Control S or go into Archive and click Save. There you go. Now, next thing that you want to do is add the NEI plugin. Now, what this does is when you open um, Forestry in NEI inside Technic, you won't be able to see the carpenter recipes and all the recipes for the different bees and so on and so forth. So what you want to do is add this NEI plugin for forestry. Now this is a bit more complicated but it's really easy once you well see what I do. So what you want to do is go into the right folders now. So let's just do this. There we go. Oh crap. Um I already had that open. So these are the files that you want to open. So as you can see in the Technic SSP, you want to go into bin and then open not Minecraft.jar but modpack because here is where you want to add all the different mods in Technic when you're adding them to the jar. At least I think that's how you how you do it. So just download the zip file, the forestry plugin, and then drag these two right in here. Now it's going to say a bunch of warnings then. You can just click, click OK. Now what that is going to do is basically add the NEI things into um, the coder chickens. Um, stuff with thingies. I don't really know what that means. But basically you fix that. Perfect. Next thing that you want to do. If. Well I should take this in the next part. Let me just cut. So basically what you've done now is basically add forestry. Done deal. But you won't be able to find appetite near your house because chunks that have already rendered won't be able to have appetite which is one of the resources in forestry in them. So there's a way to fix that so let me cut to when I'm ready to show you how you do that. Okay so what you want to do to make it possible to find appetite a lot easier is basically to go into MC Edit. Now this is a super cool program that you can use to edit your worlds from a flying weird perspective and you can use this in many way ways. So you're gonna get this warning first time you log on or whatever and you must close Minecraft completely before editing and so on and so forth. Now I recommend to look up a installation guide or something like that um, so that you can see how to install this program. It's really 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 easy. So just press OK next thing you want to do is make so that um, this program can actually find your saves in Technic. So again, search percent app um, app data percent. Press enter or click the roaming file. And then, then go into Technic Launcher, Technic SSP. Then go into Saves and take the world that you want to convert. So the one that I'm going to do is this one test forestry so I'm just gonna copy that one you know what I'm actually gonna rename it because I think I already have one of these so rename I'm gonna rename it um, test to tu tutorial there you go perfect so I'm gonna copy this one you could actually cut but I'm gonna copy this one then go back two steps three steps and go into the .minecraft file. Now you, what you want to do here is go into saves and just paste it in here. Now what this is going to do is make it so that this program can actually find it. So what you want to do next is click um, ooh, just click um, open a level. Then you want to choose the file that you had click open, no wait, wrong button, you want to click load level. So here you're going to see the three things that you can choose from. So just choose the one that you want, so load that one, and then you're going to get into this awesome place. Now you control everything with S, A, W, and D, 
just like in a normal world. And now you can see everything that you rendered. So what you want to do is go basically to your house, wherever that is. Now mine, I think should be, what I can do is actually move spawn point and go to spawn. So I'm going to see where my spawn point is set. Now this is going to be set right here. So here's my house. For you who um, watch my Let's Play, you know this is my ugly looking house, but oh well. So, what you want to do is go into the chunk controller thingy and basically remove every single chunk around this house in a decent area. Now only do this if you don't mind that all your ores and things that you have mined out are going to get reset. Because what this does, it basically removes the chunks and make it so that Minecraft is going to want to um, render new ones. But since I haven't really dug anywhere near here much, what I could do is just choose all the chunks around here really easy, just like this. And you want to go as far as you've rendered, so this is as far as I've gone. And take as many, as much as possible as much as you think is alright to take. So I'm just gonna do this really really quick, not especially sexy looking, but oh well. So let's do that. And let's see how big the area that I'm gonna leave is. So there's my house. Now basically you will be able to find appetite, the ore that we're actually doing this for, all around here. But all around here are also gonna get new newly generated blocks. So for example, if I found some tin right here, that will get reset, so you can just go and mine that up once more. But that's kind of cheap doing, so the only reason I'm doing this for is because I want to find um, appetite. So I don't really like the fact that you can expose this and get a bunch of ores from the same place, but I'm just telling you this if you have like rendered a huge world and if you need to find appetite and you don't want to go all the way over there because that would be annoying as hell so this is quite a dangerous step to take because honestly I haven't tested this too many times only two or three but so far it's worked um, a couple of times I've gotten weird blocks but I just removed those in creative and everything got fixed so let's delete this cannot be undone now don't worry don't think that the, your whole world is going to get deleted, because it's not. What's happening is it's removing the chunks and making Minecraft want to reload those again. So, no worries. Let's look in here. Seems as if this chunk haven't got deleted, but oh well. So, now that that's done, all you have to do is Control S. Now that's going to save your world, or you could just click the save button here. Close out of this, and then your test tutorial is gonna well, the world that you edited is gonna be done. And what you want to do is rename this to whatever you want it to, so maybe um, QWERTY, QWERT, <laughs> and then copy this one and paste it into your Technic SSP saves folder. Perfect. Now everything should be done, you should be able to find Appetite and use the Forestry mod in your Technic Let's Play. So, there you go. Easy peasy, wasn't it? Well, not really. Be, I'll be glad if you actually watch this video one or two more times just to follow through my steps. Now, I'm not going to be responsible for any mistakes that you do, or if this doesn't work. Now, honestly, I haven't tested this extremely fully, but... I'm gonna use this in my let's play and so far I haven't found any bugs now maybe if you did some weird thing with the stuff and epic nuke thing with your world that might be a problem but probably not because forestry is actually um, forge compatible so there should be no problems so this was me showing you how to add the forestry mod to Technic take it cool and as always, be awesome!